Hey everybody, how's it hanging? My name's David, and I'm going to do Emily's voiceover today as she uh, puts on way too much makeup. All right, here we go. Ready, set, starting now. Okay, good. We're going to use this little spongy, uh, orange spongy ball and this cream, tons of cream, way too much cream, because um, who cares how much cream it is? Uh, my husband works two jobs to pay for the cream. Okay, we're going to put it over the cheeks, uh, the jawline, because um, the, there's a shadow there. And if you can put it right there on the jawline, it'll cover up all those zits you may have. Um, I've got several around that area, so I have to make sure I really get that jawline done really, really well. Uh, go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Um, if it wasn't already understood that you were supposed to do the other side, it should definitely be understood by the fact that we doubled the length of the video by doing both sides. So go ahead and rub it all over the chin. Do the other side, obviously. Rub it in real good. So that is now um, done nothing. It has a similar effect of when you uh, rub water on your face. Um, it just erases everything. So uh, go ahead and rub it all in. The forehead, the nose. Uh, perfect. Okay, we're going to grab some e.l.f. and pixie dust. And uh, with the e.l.f., we're going to rub that on our eyes. And uh, e.l.f.s actually come from a mystical, magical world of Never Everland. And so we're going to go that Never Everland look of something that looks a little creepy, slightly Egyptian looking. And uh, we're going to rub uh, three or four different chemicals on our face. And we're going to get our orangey sponge ball. And we're going to rub all of that in. Just mix it all together. Um, again, well, all this is going to do is make your face look really shiny. Remember that your orange squishy sponge ball is your best friend throughout all of this. Now look at how my eyes look exactly the same. Okay, next step. Travel on over to the other side of your face and rub those three chemicals in. Again, once more, leaving the cream right on top. And grab your orange squishy sponge ball and rub dub 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 all of that back in. Uh, if you'd like a tutorial on how we clean our orange squishy sponge ball, um, we can't do that for you because that's not something we have planned at all, so do not ask. Okay, go ahead and rub it in You're right there into the uh, tear ducts as well to damage those. And okay, done now. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that uh, really tiny, tiny brush and we're gonna rub it right under the eyeballs. Uh, make sure you go around and around and around, make a U horseshoe type shape. And then we're gonna do the other side, obviously, do over the top of the eyelids, very good. Okay, perfect. Make sure that when you do this, you get the appropriate color. You certainly don't wanna use um, a red pen you got from your teacher's office if you do not have red hair. Um, use the black pen if you have black hair and so on and so on and so on. So uh, make sure you do both sides, just fill it in real nicely, not too much. Um, you want it to look like an upside down Hot Wheels racetrack uh, is exactly the way I would say it. And of course, do the other side. And rub that in, fill it in, of course. Draw, 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 sketch, 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 rub, 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 dub, dub, dub. Okay, almost done with that, I'm sure. Starting right about now. -ishy. I'm done with the eyebrows now. Okay. Um, next what you're going to do is take a good sip of water because we're not even close to halfway done. After this, we're going to grab the Purple Hub. Um, of course, it's called Purple Hub because everything in makeup is either magical or sexual. So uh, grab the Purple Hub. It's going to make your eyelids white. Uh, the purpose of this, of course, is uh, to have really white eyelids. So uh, go ahead and rub, dub, dub, rub, 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 dub, 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 rub that in. Um, you can neglect the orange sponge at this time. Uh, it's no longer needed as it's probably dirty, disgusting, and completely damaged. This is something I can jump on board with. Okay, everybody get naked and uh, go ahead and pick the lightest color of what naked looks like and rub that back onto your eyelids. Uh, if, if what we did before did anything to your eyelids, we're definitely going to ruin it now. Um, all this really does is just take extra time in the bathroom so no one else can join in. Okay, go ahead and grab a red color here. This is if you really feel like being approached by children in public, being asked to uh, make animal balloons, ride a unicycle, juggle, things like that. So uh, go ahead and redden that up quite a bit. Not too red to where it looks like you got beat up. And again, the whole time you're doing your eyes, you still want to stare down and look depressed. Um, of course, this is symbolic of what you're doing to your face every single day, 365 days out of the year, forever and ever and ever. Okay. Revert back to getting naked. We want to stay naked and uh, pick an even redder color. This should look like you've got a bad case of the pink eyes. Um, like you've got a couple dirty farts built up in that pillow. So uh, kick that stuff on. Very good. Very good. You know, as a woman, we fart so excessively. And my husband had no idea that that's really how it went. It's definitely something I should have addressed in marriage counseling. But uh, despite all of that, he loves me anyway. So um, yeah, go ahead and kick that red stuff on all over the eyelids. And uh, yeah, we'll call it good. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and grab a uh, po poopy brown color, and what this poopy brown color will do is make us look a little bit more devilish, so from clown to pink eye to now the devil. Um, great. Now we're going to grab an even lighter color and just cover up everything that you just did. Um, whatever you've done in the past uh, 20 or so minutes, go ahead and cover all of that up. Um, this is really just a big time waster. If you really need to waste time for anybody who really needs that time in the mirror, um, go ahead and take advantage of all of that. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to take our little um, black pen again, and we're going to outline our eyes. Okay, we're going to outline our eyes and go a little too far so that it looks like you intentionally made a blatant mistake um, by going too far. So go ahead and do that, and you'll do it to the other side. Go ahead and get each, every little point. It should look like you're stabbing yourself right in the eye. Go ahead and stab, 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 stab. You should be legally registered blind by the end of this video. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab this uh, purple eye, eyelash brush and we're gonna brush those eyelashes and what this does is actually gets all the knots that have been built up in your eyelashes uh, just as your hair gets knotted up and your eyelashes get knotted up too. So you definitely wanna um, go ahead and keep stabbing, stab, stabbing and brush, 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 step, 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 brush, brush, brush. Again, completely blind. Okay, go ahead and grab another brush and just rub this on your face. Uh, again, all of this is just to make your skin feel so much better about the fact that um, you're really damaging it every single day. What you'll do now is um, go ahead and get you a, a black circle, a, a black cylinder. Okay, get a smaller brush and dip it in that little black circle. It'll do nothing, but um, you're gonna rub it on your cheeks. And uh, what this does is different from the big brush, is just really get those smaller molecules in your skin. Um, so if you, if you couldn't get deep in there, now you definitely can. Definitely get next to the hairline. Hairline's really important during this time because everyone knows that's where the uh, big zits really, really hurt. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab those same red colors. We're gonna go under the eyes and uh, this should be able to go really far down and go as far as you like um, or not far at all. Yeah, don't go far at all. Just go right under the eyes. Um, you should be in constant fear that you poke your eyes out the whole time. So go ahead and grab your tiny pocket cube. With your tiny pocket cube, you're going to be doing the same thing you've been doing for 15 minutes. Keep rubbing on your face. Yep, go ahead and do a little bit of a celebratory dance right there. Okay, and uh, keep on rubbing. We're almost done on the forehead. Go down the center of the nose. Look creepy while you do it. Uh, rub, rub, rub. Now cover up that mustache hair. We really want to cover that up for sure. We don't want to look too too excessive with the mustache hair, uh, the goatee of course, and then we're going to finish up with the eyes one more time. Okay, and we are all done with that. Awesome. So we're going to grab this lip stuff. It just makes my lips look really shiny and it really annoys my husband when he uh, kisses me. So uh, sorry I'm out of the shot. I'm dabbing the lipstick into my lips for a natural effect. Um, here's a fun fact you might not know. My husband's a phenomenal reader. So uh, thumbs up for him. Okay, um, boom. Yeah, we are all done. Ooh, seductive look. Finished. Boom. Uh, this only took me about two and a half hours. So um, great. All done. Okay. Creepy. Awesome job, white women of America and Britain. Be sure to uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, subscribe, and that'll be all. Okay, bye.